After weeks of speculation, handa na ang college hoop star na si Richie Rivero ang i-reveal ang next chapter ng kanyang basketball career. Matapos siyang magpaalam sa De La Salle Green Archers. Saan na nga ba nilipat si Richie? Narito ang aming one-on-one interview sa Hard Court Hard Rock. We're very fortunate and blessed to have with us tonight none other than Richie Rivero. Richie, good evening. Good evening. Pa. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for entrusting us for your first interview on this very important day for you. Pero bago natin sabihin yung yung nasabi mo na, no? um, gusto kong malaman din yung proseso kung paano ka dumaan sa decision na ito uh, and coming out today. Uh, with with what happened, you moved on uh, from La Salle. Uh, you, you, you decided to go another journey, another adventure. Ika nga, no? What was that like? Uh, sino yung mga tumulong sa'yo, sumuporta sa'yo? Hindi madali. I mean, whatever circumstance it may be, to move on to something new is always a challenge. Diba? So, kama sa yung proseso niyan? Sobrang, sobrang hirap nung process kasi um, parang uh, yung iniisip ko before na yung future ko is I'm gonna stay with La Salle nga and mm-hmm. all. And then now I have to choose another team, mm-hmm. another school. Wherein, um, parang mabibuild up ko ulit yung, yung dreams ko, yeah. which is yung to play pro nga and mm-hmm. to, syempre, finish my studies, my college. Mm-hmm. Syempre, yung mga, yung mga alumni sa Lasal, mm-hmm. uh, andyan naman sila to, to guide me rin before, mm-hmm. like, uh, after the incident. So, yun, um, medyo naging shaky nga siya. How crucial was family? Kasi... When we see you, we see at the games, you're very close with your, with, your, with your brother, your dad's always there, your mom's always there. Gano kalaking bagay yun during that time for you to decide to move, to decide to get together and collaborate ka nga for ideas on what's the next step. Gano ka importante yung pamilya para sa yung time yun? Um, dun, parang dun lumabas yung talagang meaning ng family kasi uh, parang I don't really get to go out like uh, in public na yung ako lang or ako lang with friends ganon it's either kasama ko lang yung whole family or parents or brothers ko lang the whole time mm-hmm. so parang uh, kahit saan ako pumunta ando doon lang sila especially yung brothers ko kasi sila talaga yung I mean syempre yung, andun yung vibe ko yeah. so hahanap-hanapin talaga ng, ng, ng bata, ng teenagers ngayon. Mm-hmm. And then, syempre yung parents ko, um, if you're not with them, uh, they're always there naman to like, guide us through yung text or tawag sila anytime. Mm-hmm. So, um, parang doon lalabas talaga yung pagka-close namin as a family. And well, you bring up that point with your brother, and this is interesting because before, obviously, part of the reason why you moved from La Salle High School to La Salle, staff, there's not going to be so this time around, there's that potential of possibly not playing with him anymore in this next team you're going to be playing in. What was that like, yung realization na, teka lang, o nga no, hindi mo na makasama yung kuya mo on the team, which is a rare blessing. Very few brothers have that opportunity to play together in one you know, team, in a very competitive team. Pero ano yung, yung realization man yung prospect na, o nga no, wala na si kuya on the team if ever we part ways. And what was that like for you? Um, Siyempre, at first, uh, yun nga, one of the... Uh, yung shaky part rin nung, nung making up this decision kasi nga uh, syempre hindi na kami kasama ni Kuya so uh, syempre sobrang thankful pa rin ako kasi yung yung first two years ko sa UAP which is yung magiging parang pinaka uh, andun yung humps sa akin kasi uh, yung experiences kailangan dun mo malurin talaga um, na, parang parang na kubaga na ready niya na yung mga kailangan yep. kong maintindihan. It's time na rin nga for me to be mature enough to um, part ways with my brother kasi um, siguro ito yung way ni God to test if um, kaya ko na ba. Alone. Because imagine, almost all Live. your life, you yeah. played with him. Yeah. Diba? Hindi lang itong Lasal ka. Pati nung high school, nagka-batak lang kayo for a few, a year or two before you followed him. Diba? So, ang tagal nun, na time na magkakampi kayo and that bond. So, it's very interesting to see that dynamic and how it's gonna evolve. Uh, moving on. So now, uh, you know, that, that time to absorb what happened, uh, everything calmed down uh, between you and your friends and your family as well. And then the process of deciding what's next. Um, anong hinanap mo sa isang opportunity for a school or a team na as a family and with your management team as well to help you decide ano bang the best na kailangan nating qualities makita sa kanila na babagay sa'yo at ma- makakatulong ka rin sa kanila? Um, first is, syempre, education. Kasi, okay. basketball isn't forever mm-hmm. talaga. 
So, yung future ko magdidepende yun sa akin if ano yung alam ko with life. Mm -hmm. And then, syempre, um, dun sa, according to sa basketball naman, um, dun sa system na I think uh, I'm gonna fit in. Okay. And then, siguro yung yung people around yung people around me mm -hmm. if i study here mm -hmm. um magiging comfortable ba ako with like, these people mm -hmm. or with these people okay. so uh, kailangan i-consider talaga lahat hirap eh it's just tough yeah, yeah I mean, that's actually my next question i know we heard that very, there were more than obviously one school that was talking to you uh, asking you to consider them to for you to be their cho your choice and you had friends in all of these schools, diba? So, yeah. ang hirap din yun eh. Parang, I, I, know, I have a friend here, I have a former coach I played with here, or whatever. Kamo sa yun yung factor na yung, you had to decide. Uh, sometimes you might have to let go of closeness and friendship because system is better, culture is better, school, uh, you know, degree there is better. Kamo sa yun yung friends factor yun. Kasi, ang liit ng mundo ng basketball. Yeah, super. Eh. Mga kalaro mong kasabayan mo ngayon, nakalaro mo na yan since grade school. Eh, di ba? Kakasabayan na kayo. So, kahit o paano, kaibigan mo na yung mga yan. Eh. Yun, so, sobrang hirap talaga. Um, kasi, yun nga, like, uh, syempre, my best friend went to UST. Mm -hmm. So, uh, naging option ko rin siya. Pero, um, yun, parang, I don't know, basta sabi ko lang naman, I prayed for it lang naman talaga. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, whatever comes in my mind mm -hmm. na dito ako magde-decide mm -hmm. is the will of God, sana. So, um, sabi ko lang, uh, parang doon ako mapunta doon sa what's best for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, kahit magiging mahirap siya, basta in the future, ito yung makakatulong sa akin. Mm -hmm. Doon ako mapupunta. So, I think, parang God prepared me to... In this day and age, malaking bagay talaga yung social media, yung fans, yung, yung followers. How was that like for you? Uh, there were some who were confused with this happening, but then there were some that I could see talagang were supportive of you all the way. Wherever you would go, they said, we'll support you, we love you, Richie. And then I'm sure there were some who were saying, dito ka, dito ka. So, kung masayon, how was that aspect of this whole process? You know, seeing the, the feedback on social media, and I know you wanted to focus on the good and the positive, which I, I fully agree with that. It's a great move. And what was that like? To hear their thoughts their support for you and how you wanted to kumbaga, bring them along in this decision make this transition with you? Um, syempre, it helped me rin in a way kasi um, parang uh, malaking tulong talaga yung ganun na may alam kang someone or may kilala kang group of mm -hmm. people or whatsoever na um, sinasabi nila na we'll pray for you, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, dito lang kami, support ka namin uh, throughout your career. Um, sobrang uh, sobrang nakakataba ng puso kasi yung iba um, kapag lumipat ka parang ay de, dito na ako yung ganon mm -hmm. so sobrang thankful ako doon sa mga yon alright well let's get straight to it Richie uh, after these many months that you announced you were moving on to another chapter in your life another school ano ang naging decision mo with your family and your management uh, where are you going to be enrolling next and uh, where are we going to be seeing you play in season 82 Ah, uh, I think nowhere to go, but but up, oh, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so UP, na nga. Yeah, so, UP, yeah, okay. So, um, tell us a bit more about that. How UP was the decision? Um, looking at the lineup, I already can see Bright Aquete will still be there when you, when you are eligible. Na the Delian your brothers, who you you know grew up playing with, kaibigan mo din sila, nakasama mo sa Sigilas as well. Kamo uh, sayon. What was? How did that all fall into place? Separate coach Bo Perez as well and the management. Kamo sa lahat yun. Is that again factors of decision for you choosing UP? Um, siguro new beginning. Okay. Um, magiging magiging mahirap pa rin siya. Uh, so have to work super hard to, mm -hmm. sure. Um, yun nga. Uh, play with them. Uh, parang I didn't go naman here just because uh, I wanted to be like my team. Mm -hmm. uh, talagang it's, siguro it's Coach Bo's or si Lebright and um, June, I think. Mm -hmm. and sila one, time, yeah. Yes, oh. mm -hmm. So, I'm just uh, gonna be there siguro. I'll try to give my best to help. Um, basta, basta yung normal lang. Mm -hmm. Same with Lasal. Uh, I didn't really 
uh, parang hindi ko naman talaga kinuha or inangkin right. yung bola, yung ganon. Mm-hmm. Um, kailangan ko lang is yung ano ba yung gusto ng coach yeah. para sa akin ano ba yung gusto niyang gawin ko okay. if defense lang or creating shots for my mm-hmm. teammates okay na ako dun and uh, sana yung yung process um, maging maging ano ba successful does it excite you kasi titignan mo lang yung line up ngayon by the time you come in season 82 Bright's there Jun Mando's still there uh, veterano na yung magkapatid na dinayan your brothers Marami magsasabi, maaring title contender ka agad ng team na to. Does that excite you na ang pagbabalik mo, ang paglipot mo sa ibang school, ay eh, kaagad-agad maaring maging title contender ka? Uh, yeah, ito. Super. Uh, Siyempre, titignan mo rin yung side na yon. Pero as of now, um, yun nga, uh, step by step talaga siya. So, mm-hmm. lahat naman yata ng players is looking forward to that mm-hmm. championship. Mm-hmm. So, I just give give it all. So, yun lang. Well, so what's next? What's the next step? Alam ko, meron silang training camp abroad. Kasama ka na ba doon? I think so. All right. Sure. And then, syempre, what's next is birthday mo. Okay? Birthday mo na in a few days. Uh, anong, siguro, as your birthday and we wish you happy birthday, uh, you. meron tayong cake. Actually, ipapasok ang cake. Ayan. So, meron tayong, ano, konting birthday wish. Pwede mo tayo happy birthday to you. Ayan. Okay. Happy birthday. Sige, blow the candle. Make a wish. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And there you go. Okay. His first birthday candle, birthday wish. Dito sa, sa SNA. Salamat. So, Rich, anong birthday message mo to your fans, your family, your friends who've all helped you to come to this point where you are now and making this big jump and this new sex chapter of your life? Um, Siyempre, first, I want to thank God for everything. And dun sa mga sumusuporta, Uh, sa family ko and sa mga fans, uh, alumni ng Lasal and alumni ng UP. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Nowhere to go but up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, no, nowhere to go but up. So, yun, uh, thank you so much, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you. Uh, try ko yung best ko para maging successful tong decision. Natin. All right. And for us, as as broadcasters, as, as sportscasters, as fans of the game as well, we wish you the best. We're excited to see you in your next journey. Uh, and we can't wait to see you back on the court. So all the best for this next year in training, studying, adjusting. And yeah. we can't wait for season 82 to start. Richie, maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Us. Thank you. Again, mga kaibigan, si Richie Rivero, the newest member of the UP Fighting Mulu. Hey, everybody. This is Anton Rojas. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's ABS-CBN Sports and Action.